Oh, you may have noticed this laying in the floor on my last video. I got these at good at the Goodwill. Goodwill outlet, not the Goodwill store. And uh, got them for two dollars a piece. The reason I got them, there's a couple of reasons actually. One, I will convert them over to uh, 12 volt, hook up to my solar panel and have me some uh, lights in here in my basement off of the solar panel run off of LED <coughs> which will be three or four LEDs in each one here and here and I've got actually two of them somebody had them wired up plug into a extension or into a cord and just plug into the wall but also I can get one open volt battery in there and I can use that battery and my power wheels cars I just gotta check the battery and make sure it's good if it's bad I'll probably have to go and make me a little circuit that repairs the batteries The rest of the components on that circuit board I might be able to use for something else. <laughs> and that battery is definitely bad. Only 300 millivolts. <clears throat> May not be able to bring that one back to life. It's too far gone. Yep, the good news is we can recycle the batteries. And I'll work on them next. I took four LEDs, soldered them together. Because these LEDs are uh, 3.5 or 3 to 3.8 volts. And they are supposed to be rated. Um, 130,000 MCD, which I had to go out and calculate that, find a conversion, which took a while to find, and, and then I created a little calculator that would do it for me from that, and that is supposed to be equivalent to a 100 watt light bulb. But the uh, focus or the beam is only about 12 degrees. So within that 12 degrees, it's supposed to be about a 100 watt light bulb. However, I believe that rating is off. I bought those off eBay a few years ago. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the light bulb that's here. Put these in. Try to remember which side I put on which color. And I've got my negative on the yellow. Do this side the same way.
and then put it up on the wall. After I tie my wires together and my cord, since this cord has a plug on it, I'm going to cut the plug off and just use the wire again and hook it to my battery. Now, I calculated that the power this would use on a uh, 45 watt solar panel. One hour of charge on my solar panel will burn one of these 250 hours. Since I'm using two of them, that's uh, 125 hours for one hour of solar. Here we go. Light is a burden. Down. goes down to my battery. I'll have to turn the light on and be able to see that. My little battery has got set up. Not very big. It's just a, I believe it's a lawnmower battery. Little box that came with the solar panels, which is Harbor Freight solar panel. And here's a battery that came out of a car. And this just happens to be a 55 amp hour battery that came out of the Kia. Instead of being cold cranking amps, they put amp hour batteries in Kias. At least it did in the year I got mine, which was 2008. The wire just comes up. Goes to there. And the solar panel is actually right outside this wall. But uh, it's nighttime and won't be able to see it. If I go closer, let's see. Yep, now yeah, it shows the individual bulbs or LEDs. Yep, I hope you have a great day.